Okay, so for this next one, we're looking at interval from 0 to 2 pi and using a left endpoint. So left endpoint and four rectangles. So let's go ahead and draw this. This time, remember, we're going from uh, 0 to 2 pi. So drawing this, here it is to pi and 2 pi. So we're looking for the area under the curve. So what under the curve means is between the x axis and the curve itself. So we're looking for this. And the area of the second portion of this portion is going to be negative. So we have to be very careful. Um, just by looking at the graph, we can see that a positive some type of area and a negative some type of area, they're going to be equal because we're dealing with a sine function. So right away, we already know that A, the area under the curve, is going to be A minus A, which is 0. But let's carry out uh, our method to see if we get the same answer. So we're using four rectangles here. Uh, and the left point. So starting for the first left point, the second left point, third left point, fourth left point. Okay. So we need to evaluate these at these two pi, this pi. So we need to evaluate these functions at x equals pi over 2. What well, x equals pi over 2, y equals 1. And at x equals 3 pi over 2, y equals negative 1. So then we see that the area added together equals 1 plus negative 1, which equals 1 minus 1, which equals 0. So yes, even by looking at this curve graphically, as well as uh, following our rectangular protocol, uh, we get the same answer. So just to prove to you that the definition of an integral is just the area under the curve. So thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next lecture.